Hey, what's up? Jeff Exclamation Point here. Gang, all right. I am in New York, New York. Look at this place. Looks just like New York City. Well, kind of. A Vegas style of New York City. I am rushing here because I am almost late and I have tickets to go see a circ show called Mad Apple. And I'm excited for this one. I just gotta figure out where it's at. We'll go this way, see if it's over here. It's starting in like 10 minutes, and I literally ran from the sphere all the way over here. Got a lift. One of them canceled, another one finally got me, and I think I'm making it just in time. But this is a Cirque show. Last time I was here, it was the adult Cirque show called Zumanity. And I actually thoroughly enjoyed that show. But I guess they redid it, made it more family friendly. Oh, we're going this way. And I have heard it's not the best show you'll ever see, but it's definitely a good time. So let's go check this out together. Mad Apple, I'm ready for this. All right, here we are. We've made it. And the entrance to Mad Apple. So this is what the lobby kind of looks like. I remember back in Zumanity, they had like areas right here of little vignettes that performers were uh, hanging out in. Look at the ceiling. The ceiling is awesome. All right, made it in the theater. Let's take a look. It's really cool. They have like a little bar going on down here. What? Mad Apple is described as acrobatics meet New York City nightlife. I absolutely love how they transform the stage into a bar before the show. And they actually recommend that you arrive to the show 30 minutes before it starts in order to catch all of the pre-show entertainment. This was the view from my seat all the way in the very back of the theater. I got one of the bar stools. It was one of the cheapest tickets that you could purchase. It cost around $80 before you add in the taxes and fees and the view was incredible. Okay. 
guys, I just came out of Mad Apple. Let me tell you, that is show is a lot like Zumanity. First off, 100% not family friendly, which I appreciate. But like Zumanity, the audience has to really go with it. The audience has to be ready to participate and just be really a, a, an essential part of the show. And tonight's audience did not want any part of it. <laughs> so the show was kind of lagging. But it was definitely a variety show. Uh, it had everything from a stand-up comedian. One of the best hand-balancing acts I've ever seen. Some great aerialist acts. And then it was mixed with some gross-out comedy, uh, which was still pretty gosh darn funny. Uh, the best way to describe it, it really was a variety show. And that is what one of my friends said to me uh, when they found out I had a ticket to go see this. They were like, it's really a variety show. The cool part was there was a bar at the very beginning and the middle of the stage. And the first bit of the show, this giant platform came down to cover the bar and make it part of the stage, which I thought was just absolutely phenomenal. Now I'm outside. I uh, just called my lift because I have yet another show to go to tonight. But the uh, show, the, the music, uh, was every kind of New York song you could ever imagine. I heard everything from Lady Gaga to Mary J. Blige. Uh, then we're throwing in some Gershwin. Overall, it was a good show. It's not the best Cirque show you'll ever see in your life, but it was good. If I was with the right people, and I knew I had the right audience, uh, it would be a much better experience than the show I just saw because the people around me were more interested in their cell phones than actually watching the show. Yeah. But anyways, that's what I got on Mad Apple. I hope you like this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you're in Vegas and you're going to see a show, I hate saying it, there's better ones out there. But. If this is the show that your friends are willing to see, you're still going to have a good time. And I will say that show was 100% worth, worth the admission to see that hand balancing act. It was just something I've never experienced in my entire life. It was beautifully done. Oh, and also, I bought the cheapest seat possible. Uh, I was sitting on a bar stool, and I was really kind of iffy. Should I get this or should I pay like another $10 to have an actual seat? Uh, the bar stool was comfortable. It had a back to it. It swiveled. There was tons of space between you and the other person. And you had like a little bar to lean on or to put your drink on. It was phenomenal. And I think that cheap seat was worth every penny I paid for it. All right. That's what I got for you. I got to head to my next show. So that's another vlog coming up. I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye. Like this pony, okay? I got to get her right in the center because geometry was not my strong suit. Here we go. Let's get that right in the center. Now, watch very closely, Tony, because this is going to blow your freaky California mind. Okay? This is very funny. Okay? Not for you, but for us. Watch this, Tony. Okay, this is called a hazing. Relax. Okay, here we go.